hello guys and uh, welcome back to another tutorial and if you watch my previous tutorial on how to add tattoo on your character i mentioned that i'm going to be creating a tutorial on how to add a dreadlock or create a dreadlock on your 3d character and here it is right now so before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more video so what we are going to do first is to select the uh, faces on the head of the character so i'm going to go to tab mode then i'm going to select this this year and uh, let's go to the x side i'm going to zoom closer um i'm going to select and um, see and when you select see you see this circle on your cursor then you can scale to make it bigger scroll up i will scroll backwards to make it bigger and scroll downward or forward to make it smaller so we'll select the faces um on the head so uh let's do this You can um right click to remove the select so so let's move this also c and hold on shift and select this so uh let's see we also have extra here so i'm going to select c and hold on shift and to deselect this so uh, <coughs> so i think we are good to go so um the next thing i'll do is to um duplicate the mesh that i selected so i'm going to select shift d as you can see so i've duplicated it so what i'll do next is to select p and select selection so we now have multiple files so this is the um, file for the head that we've selected so i'm going to go to tab mode change this to scalp yes i'm going to go to modifier add the motif modifier sorry add the modifier um select a um, mirror then um <coughs> i'm coming then i'm going to select clipping so the next thing i also do is to change the unit i'm coming so this is what i'll select and then i'm going to go to the length and i'm going to change it to meter you can see so we have this here so um let me go to modifier and also um select add modifier <coughs> add modifier and search and select um shrink wrap so this is the shrink wrap select um target object select above surface and change the offset to 0 0.001 also i'm going to select the mirror object to to this character so um here we go then the next thing to do is remove the material and i'm going to select um select this select the um mesh of the scalp and then i'm going to select this one two so i will remove everything until there's no uh, material on it so we have this and then i'm going to go to the um modifier so um the next thing you need to do is to turn on this then go to edit mode then you can always um select these two and um, select uh, you can select the faces so let's use this then you can select this select g i need to bring out the circle down so i'm coming yes so i'm trying to look for the circle so this is it so when you select g you can always move this I'm coming ctrl z so you can always move this downwards coming. yes so select um, select um, yes so you can take your time to um perfect your um air shape i won't be doing much here so um yeah, so select g come down yes uh, let's see come mm, well, i think this is good 
i think this is good for this tutorial so um let's move to the um next part of the um tutorial so i'm going to move to um um object mode then we are going to go to our particle i'm going to add a new one and i'm going to select air so you can see okay so what we'll do next is to select emission we're going to reduce the air length to 0 0.11 yes and uh, let's go to the path steps should be seven um viewport um seven and turn off show emitter so we're going to add this so i'm coming let me check my i think something is wrong here with my fire yes okay so i think i need to apply my mirror so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and select ctrl a yes so that we can have our air particles spread um, in both sides so let me go back to the particles so i'm going to um go to the diameter scale and um change it to 0 0.00 um triple zero after the dot and add two and select enter so i'm um, going to reduce the number of um, the air particle to zero then i'm going to go to particle edit i'm going to go to this we go to 124 change this to 124 uh, okay let me see change this to one and change this to eight so let me adjust this properly and add um, air particles and select this so make sure you selected this add icon and just select this and you have your air strand here so this is it you can see so the next thing we are going to do is to um modify this strand into um the dreadlock um texture or the dreadlock look sorry so uh let's go back to the object mode i'm going to change the tip to 0 0.75 sorry 75 i'm coming so um let's go back up coming uh, down then the children yes change it to simple so i'm going to change the value of radius to 0 0.00 to coming change this to coil yes add this to 0 0.001 then frequency is uh, 50 now i'm going to go to the roughness i'm going to change the random to 0 0.008 Come, okay so this is let's reduce it a bit Okay, let me change the texture, the default material for this. Render as this material. Okay, so we have it here. Coming. So let me go back to our particles. So if you want to increase the um, number of um, particles in this um, dreadlock strand, you can just scroll up and go to this display amount. You can change it to 50. You can see. You can change it to 50. And I think this is not bad. Um, let me see. So the next thing we can do is to go back to um, particle edit. Then you select this 
comb brush and we have to bring these down and come in. The strength should be one. So I'm coming. Okay. And the radius too should be quite big. Let me see. Yeah. Yes. So exactly. Okay. Coming. So um, let's go back to this ad and you can add more strands. So let me add this. You can add as many as possible. As many as you want so i'll keep adding let me, see. let me use this yes let me restart it i'm coming i'll restart it again so i prefer adding it like this Okay, so let me go back to the front view. Yes, so we can select um, this comb and then you can bring everything down. Yes, so when we go back to our object mode, you can see, you can see we have something like this. Comment so. So we can go back to um, particle edit and bring this down. Yes, yeah. So you have this, and if you feel your hair is longer, you can select this to cut. You can see reduce it. You can use it to trim your trim the length of your hair. So um, coming. So uh, I think there is one to make it longer too. So this is it. When you select this, you can make your um, strand longer. So you can make it longer. So we're also going to do the same thing for the other side. But let me first comb this. Well, um, this is not um, too great for the um, dreadlock um, strand. So you can keep adding more strands on your um, character's head until you are okay with it. So the next thing I want to explain is how to cover up your two spaces, like adding um, a low cut hair to cover up these bowed spaces around the um, dread. So what you do is to go back to this modifier, sorry, go back to your particle and you need to add another um, particle system we are going to select air exactly this is what we are going to do. we are going to select air then we are going to come in so we are going to reduce the air length to come in 0 0.4 or let's say 0 0.004 come in. yes i think this is okay this is good this is okay So we're going to increase the part step to five. Also, same thing for viewport display to five. And then we're going to select interpolated um, coming. So we're going to select the kink type to coil. 
yes so i'm going to change this i'm coming i'm going to change this to 0, 0.0 i think 0 0.01 yes Let me add my own more zero. So, so this is fine. Yes, as okay, this is better and increase our frequency to 10. Okay. Let me see if I can do that. So the next we are going to go to is our um, roughness. Um, size is um, going to be 0 0.1 and our roughness is going to be 0 0.05. Okay, okay, that's too much. Come in. 0 0.005. Yeah, okay, this is better. So, um, we can also increase the display amount to probably 100. So, yes. And if you feel like you want to reduce the air length, you can go to, you can just go to the top. You can make it, um, uh, 0 0.005 let's see it's too much okay sorry 0 0.003 yes or let me see 0 0.001 yes so with this method you can use it to cover up any little spaces after adding the um number of strands you want to add on your characters um ed so this is just the idea of how to create um dreadlock on blender i apologize that this tutorial did not come out with a great result because anytime i screen record with my laptop um the software i uh, the system lags so and it slows down the performance so i just have to like round it up as soon as possible this is the dread look i did without screen recording so you can see that the result looks great so if you have any question about this tutorial you can always drop um drop it in the um, description box or you can join my discord um, group and ask your question there so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell to get more videos